Hey guys, thought I'd bring a little haul video to you. It's been the holidays, so um, I didn't get to shop very much for like the last three or four days. Actually, I haven't shopped much um, in the past week or 10 days. Um, I guess the last time that I met with Chris was the last time that we really bought a lot of stuff. So Holly and I yesterday I had to go pick up something from um, the Goodwill auction and uh, I know that I have seen some mumblings, not in our group, but in other groups about, <clears throat> well, Goodwill's putting all the good stuff on their auction site. Maybe, maybe they are, but that's also a great place to source. So, um, and it gives you the opportunity to um, search for multiple uh, locations in your area and see what they have up for auction. So let me show you what I got at auction. And honestly, ooh, and honestly, I haven't really figured out what I'll get for this, but um, it'll be enough. It, it, it'll be enough, whatever it is. So I paid $9.99, um, and then, of course, plus tax and a little handling fee. So I think it ended up being less than $13. Um, and I bought this Wii. And along with the Wii, there was uh, just the Dance 2 game, which I already have for my Wii. Um, it has two controllers plus like the nunchuck um, a controller plus it's got the Zumba weights and it's got the, the Zumba belt where you put the actual um, controller in it, the, the, um, the power cord and the motion sensor. So it's, it's a complete set uh, that I paid for 13 bucks and um, I should be able to do fairly well on that. Um, and I, I don't know, I just like Wii. I just like the Wii system. Um, I would love to have a Wii U. That would be like my, my big, I would love to have that. But um, anyway, I bought that and um, I will probably, I don't know if I'll sell that out or, or um, wait and pick up some games and then sell a lot. But anyway, I should do okay on that. So we hit three thrift stores yesterday. Um, one of them we didn't buy really anything for resale. Um, I think we only ended up buying like six dollars worth of stuff at all. And then um, we went into a Sal uh, Volunteers of America, I believe. I believe that's which one it was. And um, they were having their half off sale, so everything was half off. So we picked up the most there. Um, I wish we had spent more time like going more slowly down the aisles, but we did buy some good stuff there. And then we stopped at two Goodwills. So I guess we stopped at four places yesterday. And um, I don't know, I didn't spend that much, maybe maybe $80 everywhere. And um, I got a pretty good amount of stuff. I say that $80, um, I used $80 for my PayPal account. I did buy um, at the very end, these two lots of jewelry at Goodwill. And I spent nineteen dollars in those, so I bet I spent about a hundred dollars um, because I did pay cash for those. But anyway, not who cares, right? So anyway, the first thing that I got was this Onkyo um, remote, and which which it was funny because there were two of these sitting side by side, and they looked very similar. And <clears throat> I got this for ninety nine cents, and I looked them both up. <clears throat> the other one that I left behind sold for $6.50 shipped. So obviously I wasn't going to buy that one. But this one sells for about $20 shipped. So that's a decent return, especially since a remote, a remote um, listing, doing remotes is pretty easy. It is a couple of pictures, making sure that you get inside the battery compartment too. So remove the battery door. Um, the research is super easy because the model is almost always printed on the on the um, remote and um, the listings are pretty easy. Testing is also very easy. So um, overall remotes are um, usually plentiful, cheap, and um, they're easy to list. They're easy to ship, the whole thing. Um, not all of them are worth very much. I think the average price that I see for remotes is somewhere around $9.99 or $12.99 shipped. But if your entire business model was remote controls and you could find enough of them, I think that would be a great business model to have um, from a time perspective um, and an easy shipping perspective and things like that. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Um, I found these. How cute 
are these little hand-painted um, mugs. Um, they're clay and they're from Bulgaria. And I don't know why I'm leaned over way like this. I don't know. Um, they're made in Bulgaria and um, they're marked 30 cents. I got these for half off. So I paid 15 cents each for them and there was no shortage of them. Um, I ended up with 16 of them. Um, and I could not, I cannot find any comps for these. I think I'm going to list them in lots of four. I may keep four. Shh. But we drink a lot of Turkish coffee and stuff here, so that size cup is good for us. All right. I found this um, yesterday. This is a cast iron Pampered Chef meat press. I paid $5.99 for it, um, and I think the comps were like at $30 for this. Um, I picked these up just for me um, for gifts for grandkids. These are cute little puffy dinosaur stickers that I got for 49 cents a pack. Um, I have not looked this up, but I, I meant to before, before I sat down here. This is a Presto um, percolator. You guys know I love to sell percolators. It's, it's one of the things that I look for. And uh, even when they're not complete, you can usually um, part them out because a lot of people don't part them out. And um, you'd be surprised what will sell. Um, but this is a Presto stainless steel. I'll look this up. It was marked $3.93, and so I paid half of that, roughly about $2, a little less than $2. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, we must have stopped at five thrift stores yesterday because I forgot that we stopped at the store where I bought these. These are Leapfrog Little Leaps, and they are the... Um, disc and booklet. Um, I paid 99 cents for these. Uh, I paid a dollar 49 for this one. I didn't check, but this one I may sell on Amazon, just, just depending on how well it does. If not, I'm going to lot the three of them together and I probably asked somewhere around $20 for those three. I'm thinking maybe who knows. Um, I these are those Leap Pad Learning Center books. Um, this one has the cartridges in it. I think, I think there are, there's four books and four cartridges in here, so it should be good. Um, probably about 15 bucks for these, and I paid 99 cents for them. Uh, this is a gorgeous bowl that I saw yesterday, and Holly and I were looking at this, and I'm like, I just want to buy it, just because it's beautiful, and... Um, it would be gorgeous on like a coffee table or even on a stand on a mantle. And um, I paid $3.99 for this bowl. And it turns out that it's Southern Living at Home. And um, this bowl sells for about $30, $32. And it's gorgeous. It will be a little bit of a pain to ship because of the sheer size of it. But um, it'll be fun. Just really, really pat it. But I, that's just gorgeous. Um uh, just a gorgeous bowl. Um, I found a, an open back um, spoon rack. And I don't know that I find many that are open in the back like this. And then this one has like a a domed or a crescent shaped um, shelf on it, which is also interesting. I paid um, half of $1.91, so about 90 cents, um, 95 cents for this and I probably will price this somewhere in the neighborhood of $20. You know how I like my spoon racks. I don't, I can't understand. I, I don't know. It's gotta be the people that's that buy the perpetual wood calendars that buy the spoon racks. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, I found these, these were marked $4.94 each. I've got two of them. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because the boxes are damaged and the parts are falling out. But these are, Oh, well, it's upside down. Decorative wedding arch kits. So it's got like tube steel to make that fr arch frame. And um, um, and then you decorate it. And so uh, it's easily easy to take down, easy to put up. I did not check to make sure all the parts are there. Um, and these boxes are open. Um, it's very little. There, there shouldn't be a lot of little pieces. I don't think these screw together. I think they just sit on top of each other. 
Um, I bought each of these for $2.50. And at worst, I have a complete one. Um, and I think, I don't know if I'm going to do these local or if I'm going to sell them. If I sell them locally, <clears throat> probably about $20 each, I'm thinking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't looked at what they might be um, on a... Uh, for sale on eBay, but I'm guessing somewhere in the neighborhood of about 30 bucks a piece. Um, they're heavy, they're bulky. Uh, I'm gonna try probably with wedding season coming up soon, probably just try and sell them locally. Um, I think that'd be the best way to go. So Holly picked these up yesterday. She paid 45 cents for them. And I don't know if these are, are like Japanese knockoffs, unlicensed kind of crap. But they're little coasters, and they have this writing at the bottom. Um, little cork back coasters. Beauty and the Beast, Snow White. Um, like, uh, there's Aladdin and Jasmine. There are six of them in here in this cute little tin. <clears throat> Again, I don't know if these are maybe from Disney Japan, or if these are knockoffs. And I'll try to do some research, but really, really cute. <clears throat> so, uh, I found more greeting cards um, at the Salvation Army yesterday, and I like greeting card. I like greeting cards. Period. Um, and this is a good way to get cheap, um, you know, groups of greeting cards. I mean, obviously, you can't control what's in them, but um, I paid ninety cents. For this one and I got it for half off so 45 cents and a dollar 99 a dollar 91 for this one so essentially 95 cents and I mean I can see that there are Hallmark cards in it um, decent cards in it and cards are expensive if you go out to Walmart or the Hallmark store or the drugstore or wherever and buy greeting cards they're kind of pricey that four five six dollars each so I buy them like this um, I throw away the ones that I don't like, or you can use them for scrapbooking or journaling or whatever, or you can give them to your mom. Trust me, my mom appreciates them when I give them to her. Um, and uh, and then you you know you've got all of those greeting cards, and I had this little I don't see it right now, but I have a little organizer that I keep them in. I don't know what's gotten into me because I've never been like this before, but it's just been very important to me lately to send greeting cards and to let people know how I feel about them and to let them know that I'm thinking of them without it being a Facebook post. So I have really gotten into collecting greeting cards and having them on hand to send out, um, you know, with a moment's notice. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm doing it this way to save money and I just wanted to pass along that hint to you if in fact, you are into greeting cards. And if you're not, if you're just into crafting, this is a great place to get some card stock weight um, images, you know, in, in case you don't have a Cricut or any of those things. But anyway, that's my two cents. We know what that's worth, right? Mm -mm. Um, and speaking of scrapbooking, journaling, you know, junk journaling, whatever, I thought this was the cutest. It's wallpaper border. Um, it's self stick wallpaper border, um, and it was it's not it's not plastic. It doesn't have the plastic, so the inside's kind of yucky. But I thought this would be so cute for you know a, a journal. So I'm gonna I'm gonna list it with crafting and journaling in mind, um, and I'm gonna try and peel it a little bit so that I can get a little more of the image in the pictures, unless I can find a stock photo. Um, to use, but um, I just thought this was really cool and very unusual, and I paid almost nothing for it because all of this wallpaper border that I bought was pretty inexpensive, really. Uh, but look how cute that is! So, anyway, all right, I'm over myself. Just thank you for letting me indulge, and just wanted to let you know. Um, this is, I paid 45 cents for this. Um, it's just your standard angels, um, cherub kind of thing, wallpaper border, but a lot of people like this. I was over this in the eighties or nineties, probably late nineties. 
but um, a lot of people might still like this so um, I picked that up and wallpaper border I usually get like $12.99 and up for a roll of wallpaper border not always but a lot okay so I've got three more rolls to show you here this one I just thought was adorable it is little pigs and um, you know un unusual and there's like a big pig following not just a bacon following but an actual pig following out there there are a lot of people that like pigs so I thought that might speak to somebody if they had um, a craft to do or a small area that they wanted to put that kind of border in um, I typically always pick up lighthouses that seems to be um, a popular theme so this one is not a great I don't know do I already have this one I don't know if I have this, but this one is the art. I don't, in my opinion, is not great on this, so I probably will just list that for twelve ninety nine shipped. And then I thought this was kind of interesting. It is called Alpha Alphabeta, um, and it's Laura Ashley. Actually, um, it is a discontinued wallpaper, which can be a good thing um, because you know if you get an area in your in your room that has been damaged or the wallpaper border has been torn or something this you know you won't be able to buy this just everywhere but this is kind of a, a weird alphabet print um, there's a wren there is a uh, jug a dome a plow and I think this, this is UK the way that that spelled plow is spelled I think this is probably a UK wall porter but anyway um, I just that's funny I'm pointing at a turkey and saying wren um, that is a turkey not a wren anyway um, I just thought this was an interesting wallpaper border and I'm hoping I can get you know like 20 for this one roll who knows I don't know I didn't look anything up me look something up um, not when I'm sh super shopping. Um, I bought these, I don't know, maybe for myself, possibly, I don't know, but they're just really cute little ceramic lanterns, um, and they're solar. So I thought they'd be so cute to sit out on my patio. I love, 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 love this color. And I got three of these and I got them for $1.99 each. And I don't know, that's pretty darn cheap if you ask me. Um, I got this lot of Yankee Candle um, Country Heather Wax Melts, and I paid 95 cents for these. Uh, I think there's about 10 of them in there. I don't know if I'm keeping or giving. I'm not sure. Keeping or selling those. I'm not real sure. Um, I did buy that jewelry, and I'm not going to go through every stinking piece of that jewelry because there was quite a bit. Um, this amount of it is what I will sell as bulk. Um, it's it's wearable, it's it's fashion jewelry, but it's not marked. Um, some of it's decent quality, but I just don't wanna sell it without any kind of name on it, especially if there's nothing remarkable about it that would give me these like outstanding keywords that will help me sell it. So um, uh, I'll just sell it in a bulk lot. And again, I paid $19 for all of this jewelry and I'm not you guys know I'm not like I don't do a lot of jewelry I don't sell a lot of jewelry but I love buying those jars and um, and just going through them and these were half these jars were half off I have this one was full and then a smaller one was full um, this one was $19.99 and half off the other one was $14.99 and half off so um, it was fun. Um, this little set of little faux pearls and a necklace uh, came in this cute little gift box. And I'm thinking I'm going to put that away for a gift for some, one of the little teenage nieces, grand nieces in my family is what I'm thinking I will do with that. Um, this was an interesting piece that was in there. It is like a, a little uh, brushed brass finish um fireman insignia business card holder so I just thought that was kind of cool um, 
I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, but I think it might sell just for it being like that fireman, 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 uh, insignia. I just think that's kind of cool. Uh, this is an Avon cute little pearl necklace with, um, little rhinestone, um, bead in the middle. And then it's got, um, pearl and rhinestone earrings with it. Probably not worth very much, but, um, it does help that it's new. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's an unmarked necklace, but it's really, really cute with this little rose gold and gray and white or off-white pearls. And then it's got little rhinestones in between. Just a cute little necklace. And that gives me enough keywords that, I don't know, I'll probably get 10 bucks maybe for it. Who knows? You know, jewelry's not my forte. Angie, if you're watching this, feel free to chime in because I probably need some advice. This is just a cheap Croft and Barrow, Barrow, Croft and Barrow. Um, necklace and earrings set. That's um, Kohl's brand, but it is new. So, um, I did get some old necklaces that I need some advice on. So, if you can help me, I would certainly appreciate it. Um, this is a J. Crew um, kind of metal chain link bracelet. That's kind of kind of interesting. Um, this, so I love pearls anyway. And these kind of have a champagne color to them. I think they're vintage, given the um, given the clasp. Let's see if I can put some of this stuff in. Because my hands are getting so full. Um, but let's take a look at this clasp. So there we've got the clasp. And it's kind that you pinch the blade. That's hell to get old. Because you can't see anything. So you, you pinch the little blade and take it uh, and it comes apart. These have heft. These are very heavy. And um, they're not real, I'm pretty sure. 100% sure almost. Um, because look at how we got some chipping. I don't know why that doesn't want to show right there. Um, but they are really nicely sewn on, um, knotted between each strand, and they're so heavy. Um, and they're just gorgeous. I love these, and they're almost something I want to keep. But um, if you can help me, any of you knowledgeable folks out there, with how to identify, like, era what era these are from or anything that you can tell me about them i would certainly appreciate it but these are really heavy um, vintage pearls i'm pretty sure and so i ended up with several necklaces like this um with this old style clasp system where it just kind of hooks in over here and um I believe these are vintage, I'm guessing, 60s, um, unless, unless they are foreign, so they're maybe from another country where um, maybe this clasp style is still popular. I'm just completely guessing. I think they're probably vintage, though, um, and they're cheap uh, plastic pearls. Uh, but I do have several, and I don't, none of these are marked, um, but I thought maybe they would be good costume jewelry. And I, what I mean is jewelry to wear with costumes, not actual costume jewelry. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren little chain link necklace. Um, we'll see about what I can get for that. I didn't even look. Uh, check these bad boys out. Um, these almost feel like glass, uh, really, really heavy, interesting sound, like dice. And, um, just that iridescent mirror ball kind of thing. I love these. Um, they're not marked. I don't know if they're anybody, but I just thought they were interesting. This is a Mylor, um, stainless steel chain link necklace. Um, it is a necklace and not a belt because of the clasp. Um, 
I don't know anything else about it. It is not made in Italy. It is marked China. But um, I'll try to get 10 or 12 bucks out of that. Uh, so this is, this is a great pearl necklace with um, this cute little tassel. And uh, the tassel's got like a stone in the top. This is Freedom by Topshop. And I don't know, maybe 10 bucks for that. We'll see, maybe not 10 bucks for that. This is another one of those old time claspy necklaces. I don't expect to get anything for this. Um, it is a clearly plastic, faceted plastic beads um, <clears throat> in this kind of a dark baby pink um, color, almost hot pink, but not quite. Um, but I just don't, I don't think they'll be worth anything. I just thought they were interesting. Uh, here's another one of these old vintage necklaces with the old style clasp. Um, this one is actually missing a strand, so I won't be able to sell this. Uh, this is damaged, but it's still interesting. Look at the, the uh, faceted plastic crystal um, beads that are in there. Um, but I just thought I'd show it because I think it's interesting. And this this clasp system fa fascinates me because I don't know when they stopped um, producing that. These, I think, are gorgeous. And um, there is, uh, we do have some damage to this because one of the strands has become, un, um, one of the strands has come loose from the clasp. See, it's broken loose. But check out these beads in the middle, and these are marked Japan. Look how cool those are with their little silver splotches and uh, like candy stripe. I thought these were really interesting. Again, may not be worth anything. They are marked J like Japan. Did I say that already? Yeah, probably. Anyway, okay, just a couple more, and then we're done with the boring jewelry. Um, <clears throat> these are just plastic beads. Look at that color, though kind of a turquoise seafoam kind of thing <clears throat> and I think I can sell these maybe on Etsy just based on the color because they're just a, such a brilliant color but again old time clasp um, and unmarked all this stuff is just cheap costume I think from from an earlier time um, here's another one with this type of clasp this is the last one and this is made with uh, I don't know that that's coral but it's some kind of stone uh, that has been drilled through. But anyway, interesting kind of peach um, stone necklace. It does have some weight to it. All right, that's all of the jewelry. Um, again, I do the jewelry more, uh, more or less just because I love going through the jars. And then <clears throat> sometimes it sells, sometimes it doesn't. And usually at least once a year I have a yard sale. And when I do, I just throw those necklaces out there for a dollar or 50 cents each. And I, I almost sell out of jewelry almost every time. So um, I don't even worry about it. If they don't, if they're not going to sell on eBay, they will sell at the yard sale. So I don't even, I don't even concern myself with it. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what we picked up yesterday. Um, pretty much everything. I am going to be a listing fool because I do have a bit of a death pile and you guys know that's not like me. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and get all of this stuff taken care of this week, get my listings back up because I have not been listing as hard as I normally would and I've gotten down to about 615 listings, which is really low. And um, I need to get that back up so that I can keep maintain my inventory. But I do wanna point out something very interesting or at least it's interesting to me. And that is, um, so one of the followers in the Facebook group, and of course he watches the videos, I guess, but, um, cause he comments on them, um, is Joshua Cable. I think it's pronounced Cable. And, uh, if I'm butchering your last name, well, I butchered your first name earlier, you know, in a post. So anyway, he posted that he had gone out and gone shopping and uh, hit a bunch of stores and bought a bunch of stuff and that <clears throat> he found these accessories that were not associated with an actual item, um, a food 
processor kind of thing that but didn't have the unit the actual motor and <clears throat> he said that he he purchased it for 399 and he's got a lot of the accessories um and that after some checking he figured out it was a black and decker fp 2500 or something like that so i look at the picture of this and it's the same stinking model that i have been trying to figure out for um, almost two weeks. Like, I'll pick it up and I'll do some research and then I'll put it back on the shelf. I'll pick it up and do more research and I'll put it back on the shelf. Because I I swore that this was an Oster brand because of the shape. Um, Oster typically will mark their items, but I'm like, this is shaped like an Oster. And there's some very, very similar. Um, and I was like, well, it's not a Krups and it's not a Proctor Silex. And, you know, I went through this list and I forgot about Black and Decker. So he has <clears throat> identified my bowl. Um, I bought this for $1.99 without any other additional unit or anything. So um, I think I can get about 20 I think, for the lid. This work bowl is pretty beat up. I don't know if I will actually try and sell it or not. And I think I can get about 12 or 15 for the the blade. So thank you, Joshua, for identifying this, um, this particular unit that I have not been able to figure out for at least two weeks. So I appreciate you um, sharing the information that you found um, on the item that you bought. So thank you so much. Um, I'll actually be able to list that now. All right, so I'm back to the grindstone. I'm going to get some stuff listed. I hope things are well for you. I had you, hope you had a good holiday season. And um, Q4 is coming to a close, folks, and we got to get ready for our goals and our, um, our, our strategies for the upcoming year because we always want to be getting better at what we do. And I don't mean um, we always have to be growing our business. Um, you can stay where you are if, if you're if making a thousand dollars a month is fine for you then that's okay um but what i mean is you can find ways to streamline that process or to buy better products or to um list faster or you know what i mean so you should always be getting better um and um maybe we'll talk about some ways to do that in the in upcoming videos like i know <laughs> anyway um i hope things are going well for you uh, reach out to me in the in the um Facebook group, Socially Awkward Sellers. Join um, join me on Instagram. I haven't been posting much lately, lately but I'll try to get something there soon. Um, that's socially underscore awkward underscore seller underscore. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, and comment here. I appreciate you being here and watching. Until next time, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working, and I'll see you the next time.